Triple Threat is out, and with every new promo comes a new evolution. Stay till the end to know all the meta evolution picks for the Triple Threat wingback. All right, boys, we got the Triple Threat promo finally out. It's been seeing all these leaks about it, and they've only released one promo so far. So as more of those evolutions get released for Triple Threat, I'll always be here with those evolution guides. So definitely hit subscribe and hit the notification bell if you want to know all the best players for future and up coming evolutions but i know what you're here first so let's get into it so the triple threat wing back it's actually a pretty interesting one another free evolution that ea has released for us and there's some absolutely fantastic upgrades but we won't be going into those you can take a look on your screen it's a very nice some great play styles a nice little boost on all the stats it's a max 84 overall that you can use in this upgrade which is very solid the potential to get them up to an 87 overall if you do find that magic 84 overall player which i'm very certain i have but anyways this is one of the few evolutions that have a requirement on somebody not being able to be a certain position which is a center back and uh yeah i can see why this would be a pretty crazy center back if you were able to get like all of their boosts pretty high up with all the play styles so yeah it's a very solid evolution let's go over the players that you should use in it i always like to start off these evolution videos with some more fun ones that aren't exactly meta picks but are still good picks that might be a little different from other people first one is carpenter and honestly this is a still a pretty insane pick look at her stats 86 pace 83 passing 80 dribbling 84 defending and 80 physical this is an absolutely insane pick the only reason i have it as a fun one are the links obviously being australian or is that new zealand australian obviously being from australia there is only a few really players that you can actually link her up to one of them maybe being sam kerr but yeah uh, it's going to be hard to actually link her up, especially because she's also in the French Women's League. Not a whole... Actually, there are a lot of good players from that league, but not a lot of whole people are using them. So, yeah, it is what it is there. But definitely consider her because she's a pretty good pick, honestly. One that I think that might go under the radar for a lot of people. Another fun one I've got here is Gwen, and I'm not even going to lie. I don't even know why I have this as a fun one because... This is an absolute monster. 85 pace, 82 passing, 87 dribbling, 83 defending, 74 physical. High, high work rates can play on either side, left and right back. This is a pretty insane one, I'm not gonna lie. I mean, almost Hullet Gang, obviously aside from the physical and the shooting, but you don't really need shooting on a fullback plays for Bayern and is German two great links there there's some absolutely amazing Bayern players and obviously some very very good Germans in FC that you can link her up to yeah this is a really really good one I think the only reason I have her this slow is uh the three star skills three star weak foot there are some better players that maybe have either that or better um, but yeah, definitely consider her. This is another really, really solid one here. Next up, I've got Pedro Porro, who is a very decent one, a solid prem option. 87 pace, 82 passing, 84 dribbling, 77 defending, and 82 physical. Honestly, throwing a shadow on him makes him very, very solid. But make sure you stay to the end because I've got some meta picks and one of them is from the Premier League. However, this is another really solid one. Is Spanish as well, so you can probably link him up into La Liga if you have certain players that need that extra chemistry but yeah this is another solid prem option here next up i've got dumfries who might be one of the better options in this but i only have him this slow because the last two are insane so stay tuned 88 pace 75 passing 76 dribbling 81 defending and 94 physical I mean, this is absolutely insane. Obviously, he misses out on the passing and the dribbling, which hurt his stats a little bit and hurt him in this ranking a little bit. Also, only two-star skills, and that's sometimes just a little bit unusable. I'm not going to lie. I need, at the very least, three-star skills. Even that is on the low end. I like having four and above, but it's great stats. So if you have a City Odd team, you could pair him up with some players, but I have him this low because he misses out on some very, very key key 
stats here. Next up, I've got Diogo Dallo, who actually has the option to go into the Welcome to Evolutions path and then into the Triple Threat Wingback, but we won't look at that path as I'm sure a lot of you have already used that. So let's just go straight to the Triple Threat Wingback. 86 pace, 81 passing, 81 dribbling, 78 defending, and 84 physical. This is a very, very well-rounded card, plus high, high work rates and four star, four star. You're not gonna see that a whole lot in this category. I mean, this is very, very solid and very well-rounded. A great, great Prem option here. Also Portuguese. You can link him up with some very, very solid players like Rafael Leal, uh, Bernardo Silva, uh, all those other guys. But yeah, this is a really, really good option here. This is an extremely unique one that I think is really, really solid here. And that is Barencia. Barencia, I could be completely wrong on that. He's a silver card in La Liga who has a very, very unique pathway here. You can actually throw him into the Centurion's Sharpshooter first and then into the Triple Threat wing back which just makes him insane this is not a defender that you want to be using here this is a guy you can throw on the wing and can play left mid left wing and right mid a very versatile player can play on either side 88 pace 86 shooting 78 passing 91 dribbling with a five star weak foot and three star skills not gonna lie this looks pretty dang good on paper if you're not a huge skiller the three star skills might just do for you throwing a hunter on him could make him absolutely insane almost gives him pretty much full pace and a very mid to high 90 in the shooting this is a very very solid option even throwing a catalyst on him could be pretty good so yeah consider him if you're looking for some sort of attacking option it might be a little different from other people and if you're looking to get both of these evolutions in use it looks it's a pretty unique one and a pretty cool one here one more that i wanted to go over here is lucas vazquez this is another very very solid option here 86 pace 85 passing 83 dribbling 76 defense and 74 physical now you can throw a shadow on him if you want to try and boost both the pace and the defending or you can even throw him on the wing honestly this isn't a bad winger but the reason i have him so high up is because he's another one of the few players with four star four star there aren't any five star skillers in this evolution so the best you can do here is a four star four star this is a very very solid option here and uh, he's got high medium work rates so maybe maybe throw some player instructions if you do end up using him but yeah this is another really really good option here if you are looking for a pretty solid maybe right back slash winger option depending on what kind of team you want to build these last three picks i think are the meta options for this evolution though so definitely stay tuned first one i've got here is juan bisaka he has some absolutely insane stats on this evolution and obviously already has access to that playstyle plus that his regular card has 88 pace 80 dribbling 80 defending and 76 physical obviously you can throw that shadow on him to help him out with even more of his pace and defending such a solid right back option if you're looking for a purely defensive option here because he's got a medium high work rate three star skills which might hinder him a bit but honestly i find on the wing backs you're not really using the skills too much so i don't think that really plays too much of a factor in this obviously english and plays for man U gets you some great great chemistry and yeah i think this is probably one of the better options in this evolution the second to last meta option i've got here is arsonist i totally could have mispronounced that i apologize if i did but this is a really really amazing one because you can throw him in at center mid you don't even have to have him in at right back 85 pace 70 shooting 87 passing 86 dribbling 81 defending and 88 physical i mean those stats are crazy if you want to use a center mid or honestly throwing him on the right back is very nice as well honestly this is a really good card only reason i think i don't have this as the best option is because he's in the portuguese league the liga portugal this is a really really good card he's norwegian so you can pop him in with holland and odegaard if you want to get him some extra chem but i don't know how many people are using teams or players in the portuguese league so that's why i have him a little lower but high high work rates 
three star, three star. Maybe not where you want the skills and the weak foot to be, but the stats alone make him an absolute threat in that center mid position. But this last option, I think, is the best and the meta pick for this. And it's actually a Centurions player, Centurions Ryerson. This is such a good, good option here. And he gets you some great chem being on Dortmund and Norwegian as well. There's another guy you can throw in with Holland with Odegaard, 86 pace, 81 passing, 85 dribbling, 83 defending, and 92 physical. Where he is going to suffer is the two-star skills. So maybe don't go coast to coast with this guy if you're planning on skilling, but he does the job with the stats he has, and he gets some great chem on that right back or left back position can play on either side for you. But yeah, man, I mean, his Centurions card was already good. Being able to throw it into this wing back is... It's a freaking insane evolution. Definitely the one, if I get my hands on this Centurions card, that I am going to be able to throw into this. This is a really, really solid evolution for Ryerson. That's going to do it for me, though. A bit of a shorter one, as there was only one evolution that got released in the triple threat promo so far. But I'm sure EA are going to actually be releasing more and more throughout this promo and maybe throughout the next week or so. So stay tuned for those. I got an evolution guide coming out for every single evolution in the game this year. So if you want to know who the best players are for every single evolution, hit subscribe, hit like, hit the notification bell to be notified of all my future uploads. Thank you again for watching and peace.